Grant Bradburn. Um, quite a day yesterday to kick off the campaign. Give us your thoughts on that. Yeah, very proud. Uh, very proud of the team yesterday. Uh, yeah, just like all, all round, it was an excellent performance, and to come away with uh, some you know, record performances uh, in terms of the partnership with uh, Richie and Callum was outstanding, and just really, uh, really pleased for them and the way that they kept their cool and uh, did the job, as opposed to leaving any, you know, um, little bits for other people to mop up. You know, George came in and got a nice little contribution too, but. Um, yeah, a 200 partnership as a, as a man size score, and uh, yeah, they did the job. It's yeah, very pleased for them. Um, look, we've we've trained really well over the last. Uh, you know, period leading into this tournament and I think this team just continues to get better. Um, over the last couple of years we've seen more and more confidence against better opposition and you know, yesterday they are a quality team in Afghanistan and uh, you know, our big uh, mission yesterday was to be bold and brave and, um, and really be clear about that, what that looks like. Uh, it's not about just going out there with hope, it's actually about going out there with a clear plan. Uh, having done your homework against the opposition and uh, actually having the confidence to deliver that plan. And that's the most pleasing thing yesterday, that uh, the boys in the middle you know, had the confidence against uh, one of you know, the world's best uh, one-day bowler and some other very, very good cricketers uh, to, um, you know, to dominate them. And uh, it was a very pleasing, you know, pleasing result, but it's two points and uh, that's all it is. And now our big challenge is to turn around and uh, gather the you know, the strength and recovery and um, get our thoughts around what is going to be another big challenge tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we've got huge respect for all of the associate teams and there's no easy games here. So you know, we'll, we'll be under the pump again tomorrow and uh, we're fully aware that tomorrow's victory might look slightly different. Um, yeah, it was Callum yesterday, Callum Ritchie. Uh, the pleasing thing over the last month has been different people performing and uh, fully expect that tomorrow too. Just a, a, a little bit on the schedule, obviously it's, it's very hot here. Um, when you have a game day and a rest day and then a game day, how much do you think that takes out of the guys physically? Yeah, it's a huge amount. Uh, yeah, just for interest sake, um, you know, a guy like Richie Barrington uh, does 10 kilometres in the field uh, and that's without his bowling. So, um, you know, yesterday he would have gone 13 and a half, 14 k's uh, in the field alone and put the batting on top, that's uh, about a 20k day. Uh, so, you know, that gives you an idea on, on what the bowlers do. So Brad and Safian, you know, have gone, uh, both gone 15 k's as well yesterday. So uh, in, in this heat and the foreign conditions and with the pressures of the tournament, you know, the rest and recovery is absolutely critical. So, uh, you know, today's uh, training, if you like, was more around our scouting, our preparation for Hong Kong. You know, they've got some dangerous players and uh, we're well aware of who they are and, and what we want to bring tomorrow uh, to, uh, to scrap and fight for that two points. Uh, and um, obviously Richie was um, struggling a little bit yesterday, uh, you know, you hopeful for him tomorrow? Absolutely, yeah, he's a tough kid and a uh, tough cookie and uh, yeah, it takes a bit to put Richie Barrington out of, uh, out of the team, uh, particularly when there's so much on the line. Yeah, there's a World Cup qualifier and uh, Richie would be desperate to play, so um, you know, uh, he's uh, doing all he can at the moment to recover and he's progressing nicely, so medical staff are, um, are supporting him and uh, he knows his body well, so if he's up for it tomorrow, we'll certainly line him up. And uh, Chris Sol, who I, I saw him bowling a, a, a few, few fast rockets uh, out in the middle yesterday before before play got underway. Is he coming along well? Yeah, uh, very well. Uh, progressing fast, and uh, just so good to have um, you know a battery of five fast bowlers who uh, are all vying for a place. And uh, Chris is very, very close to uh, to lining up. And uh, you know, let's see tomorrow. Um, he may well be in contention, so um, yeah, just just really uh, stoked for for him. Um, yeah, it's been disappointing for him to be on the sidelines and, and not not playing. Uh, but he's the type of character that contributes to the team anyway. Um, he adds so much. He adds a lot of life to the team, a lot of energy, uh, even when he's not playing. So uh, you know, if and when he he uh, makes his um, uh, reappearance on the park, um, you know. Rest assured, it will be dynamic. You know, we, we do miss him. He's a, he's a quality player, but uh, yeah, he'll be back before long, I'm sure. Good luck, coach. Thanks, Ben. Nice.